Happy Friday. How's everybody doing? All right, I got things to show. And to talk about. Lamont Cranston. How are you? Way to go. You know better than to use the Q word. You will hear Henry in the background. It's Friday. He beat me online. So. I am stuffed full and uncomfortable. Okay, I have the guy in orange here, that's my laptop, <laughs> and then uh, I'm in the red, and the old man down there, that's Wittigal. <coughs> oh, and it looks like Joseph is jumping in too. This happens most nights. I get on here to test stuff, and all of a sudden, two or three guys will jump on with me. <laughs> uh, there's six of us that do testing now. And uh, actually, there may be seven. There's one guy who really hasn't gotten into it yet. And where are you, Mark? Um, <coughs> so, yeah, somebody asked tonight, hey, when's, this, when's such and such script coming out? When it's done. That's all I can say. We uh, we test the crap out of them and hope that they work perfectly by the time we get them out. It's never perfect, perfect. But and we keep tweaking things. Somebody will say, hey, it'd be cool if it did this. And so we add that. And it ends up making it better. So. All right. I'm going to show you the trains. I, uh, I kind of went on the rant last week about why I was getting rid of the custom trains. Um, I guess that's Joseph. Um, yeah, the custom trains that used the Kitsune trains. Uh, the Kitsune trains were not the best choice. Um what I wanted them for was because there was a variety and they had some, you know, nice looking trains in there, uh, but they weren't the most optimized and you couldn't break the collection up. So it was like two gigabytes worth of stuff and people could not keep their hands off of it and kept breaking it. So um, it's gone now forever. If you have it, hang on to it because <laughs> it, it, it's not coming back. Um, but I have a new custom trains that's based on, and the train enthusiasts will like this, the overhauled trains. We got permission to use those trains and have done some customization and you'll be able to customize this thing many different ways, um, pretty much however you want. And, and if you break it, that's gonna be on you. Um, so I am going to spawn in a passenger train. That's what I brought the laptop for. He's gonna spawn that in. Alright. So he spawned in the passenger train. And uh, what's great about this is you can now ride in the passenger trains. Look, here's the door. I can open that door. And you can climb right on. Oops. I did not climb right on. Huh. 
Of course. Of course. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there it is. I need to adjust it. It's in the wrong place. See, this is why we do so much testing. All right, and you can see us in the train there. See if I can, you can get the inside view. Except I'm looking through my face. But yeah, there I am in the middle. There's a couple in the back. And what it did is it charged my bank account and it gave it to the driver. So whoever's driving the train gets the money from whoever rides the train, if you have a money framework. So you could actually do passenger train driving job. Uh, and here I'll get back out. And let me open the other door. Hit the wrong key. Uh, yeah, it's just where the, the thing is. Somehow it's in the wrong place, yeah. And see how it charged $75 and came out of my bank account over there, and it went into the bank account of the driver, which is kind of cool. And then uh, the driver can close the doors and go. I don't know how that's possible. I feel like it's, I mean, I'm watching my levels. My levels are, well, I mean, they seem big. Maybe my stream makes it turn down. Hang on. All right, is that better? Yeah, I think the stream mix is turned down. Uh, let me tell you the things that we're still working on for the trains. Um, one is the audio. I am working on custom train horns and sounds that will only play on these trains. Um, and as we all know, this game is very finicky and very difficult to get some things done. And so far, it has not worked out. Uh, I'm going to show you, uh -oh. I'm going to speed up here, I'm going to show you some new features. One is the emergency brake, yup, there's an emergency brake now, watch this. And that's where some of the custom sounds are going to come in. You'll, it'll sound different whenever you hit the brakes. Um, there's also a derail. Uh, you can derail it manually with a slash derail. Or if you're going really fast and you go around a corner, eventually it's going to derail. Uh, it's based on the, uh, <laughs> the sideways velocity. So when you turn a corner, it's the inertia, basically. And it measures that. And if you're going way too fast, it will derail you. There's a chance of it. There's also a chance that anytime you put on the brakes or get derailed and sparks are thrown, that, that a fire will start underneath the train. It's not every time. There's just a chance. But we'll crank up the speed here all the way.
and eventually, and it may happen sooner than later. It's just it's sort of a roll of the dice when the uh, the pressure hits, whether you derail or not. So we'll just see if it does. Uh, you can RP that the passengers get hurt, but they. I mean, nothing really happens to them. Basically, it's it's an in-game derail, which doesn't do much. The train just goes kind of wonky, and then it comes to a stop. In a shower of sparks. Um, and that's about the best derail there is in the game. And eventually it will derail at this speed. This is top speed, so. I can't remember what the chance was. But it recalculates that chance every so many seconds. So. Train looks good though, doesn't it? We have custom liveries that we did. You can also reskin them yourself. Oh, there it goes. We are derailed. And the train. <laughs> and the, the train will. Uh, it's not going to move anymore. It's. It is now dead. Um. Until you delete it. It won't go. It's stuck. Now you can't get off of it. So. Which I think is pretty cool. Alright. So let's show you some of the other trains. so you can see me do it. <coughs> um, Alright, there's two ways to spawn a train. You can either just do it by type. So you could do slash train freight. And it will spawn a random freight train out of your indexes. Now, I'll show you your indexes here if I can find them. Those are all from trying to open the doors. It does this weird thing. I don't know if I... Yeah, here they are. So where you see this train index is here, your passenger trains are 0 and 1, your freight trains are 2 through 15, and your metro train is 16. So that's the way I have it. You can change that, and this will update whenever you do. It automatically goes and figures out which trains are which. So if you want to spawn it by index, like you have a favorite train, you can spawn it by the index as well. So you could say train 14. And... There's a reason I'm going to spawn train 14. <laughs> Whitaco got killed by the train. Right. I'm going to show you something that we're working on right now. Hopefully the mountain lion doesn't get me. This boxcar right here. Oh my goodness, that was close. This is what I call the hobo boxcar. It will be open. And when we're done with it, there's going to be crates and things inside that you can sit on. So you can do some hobo RP inside of this train car right here. Uh, and that's why I spawned this particular one. Oop, goodbye. 
That looks painful. Uh, right now, you can get in it, but it kicks you to the roof. <laughs> but that's going to be fun. That gives it another opportunity. But I was going to show you some of these. Oh, oh, oh. Can I get up? Yeah, there we go. All right. I'll fly. So these are the box cars, and there's, I can't remember how many of them there are now. Um, but they look really good. I think they're good looking box cars. There's also several engines. This one's the Union Pacific one. And I think they look good too. And I always get the question, can it be more than 10 cars? We tried. We tested it, we tried. And here's what we found. No, don't do more than 10 cars. And the reason that is, is uh, one sink doesn't like the trains at all. And I've said that over and over and over. Um, and they don't sink more than 10 cars. In fact, sometimes they don't sink all 10. But say we put 50 cars on here, which we've tried. I've done 100, I've done 10, I've done 20. Um, sometimes the other players can see a certain number of them past 10, uh, but sometimes they're real glitchy, and sometimes they tornado, and sometimes they only see 7 out of 20. It, it's just, and the AI can't see them right either. Um, and your train acts real goofy once, you, <laughs> once they start seeing that. Um, and it'll despawn kind of funky. Like uh, yesterday we had one on and he only saw, he saw four less than I did. And when the train despawned, it left those four cars for me, but it, all of them were gone for him. So you can put more than 10, but it does not work right. Let's see, let's just go through the trains here. Uh, zero is the long passenger train. And this is just in the default ones that it'll come with. And then one is, I don't know what just blew up. Uh, one just has less cars. Uh, train two is the first freight train. And it looks like big box cars and some containers and a caboose. Yeah, there's a caboose. Three is just big box cars all the way back. is containers which these are all custom real life real world brands that I made all of this uh, there's some more containers and some flat cars the big tankers the bigger tankers ouch that looked painful The rack tanks. I don't know what those are called. Got a coal train. Oops. I missed the one. Got a log train. Got uh, more containers and some rack cars back there in the back. Oh, and there's lumber on those racks. Uh, here's your containers with your double stacks. Which some people don't like those, but you can take them out if you don't like them. Um, oh, this is grain. Grain train. Four we saw was boxcars, the littler boxcars, and the hobo car. Uh, Fifteen. Oh, is the uh, container. What do you call those? Uh, I don't remember. 
Yeah, containers, right? I think that's a container. And those are all real world brands as well. And then uh, 16 is the <laughs> Metro. Which we have fixed the doors. You can open either side. They open smoothly and they open for everyone on the network so everyone can get in. <laughs> kind of teasing him. <laughs> All right, what is blowing up? I'm not sure the Metro works on this uh, track very well. Anyway, those are all the trains, man. Uh, so, Lamont, yes. Um, I don't have any auto cars. I'm sorry, Iowa. Um, I, I don't know if you guys have seen the overhauled trains and what they have in there, but that's what we have available for this set. Um, there are some flat cars. Um, and yeah, I think you could... Let's see. Which one was the flat car train? Nope, that wasn't it. So there's these flat cars that you can put whatever you want on, I guess, if you wanted to. I mean, they're really made for containers, but you can put whatever you want. <coughs> um, and so the whole customization thing, here's what you'll be able to do with them. Um, you've got the whole list of overhauled trains and I've created a template for your consists and if you don't know how to do that then you probably shouldn't um, see if I can pull it up on the screen for you and show you what I've got um, okay. and they do come with all the templates so you can reskin them if you want to See if I can <laughs> add a source for. Can you guys can, can you see that? <clears throat> all right, so so here's what you've got. Um, I created all of the carriages with all of the values that they need, so you can just copy and paste these into whatever train consists you want. So you can reorganize them however you want, um, and. They've got repeat count, 
So if you want to, you know, have 10 of those or whatever, which I've done like here, there's nine box cars and one engine. <laughs> and that makes 10 cars. Um, so if you don't know how to mess with this, don't, because you're going to break it. You see what? Oh, you're... S okay, sorry. That was the wrong... <laughs> Okay. Anyway, I created this template. So you've got all these carriages. And this is all that you have to choose from. Now, if you wanted a military train, I saw a comment there about a military train. If you wanted that, um, you can reskin boxcars to have a military theme. And you can make a military train out of it if you wanted to. Uh, they don't come with military trains, but you can make it that way. You can make it whatever you want. But if you just copy one of these lines and move it up, paste it into the config, it'll work just fine. Um, like, and here I've marked them. Here's where my passengers are. Here's where the freights are. Down at the bottom, you've got your groups. Here's my passenger group, my freight group, my metro group. That's how the game knows which ones are which. So, <laughs> I would like an evil Thomas the Tank Engine. That's what I'd like. Anyway, that's the plan with that. So you can edit it in a lot of different ways. And you can change all the skins to whatever you want. Um, like in this one here, in the engine. Um, there's CSX. BNSF, Union Pacific, and the Canadian, whatever it is. And you can add whatever you want to it. Those are just the ones that I put in there. Um, I need to fix it so the menu doesn't make the train go. fast train right there and it will derail eventually because it's going way too fast so you can do a runaway train I think I, I'm thinking about making the uh, the Sorry, I got more things going on in my head than, than one. Uh, making the derail, auto derail, like a toggleable thing. So if you wanted to do runaway train, you could. Um, although sometimes the game crashes when you're moving really fast along the train tracks. I think it depends on what MLOs you have in and stuff. But you can also cause a derail. So that's trains. <laughs> Clay Mundo, you cracked me up, man. All right, uh, what else was I gonna show? Um, oh, 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 oh. Um, okay. If you can name one place in the state where the AI drive way too slow and it drives you crazy, where would that be? Let's hear it. <laughs> 68 is always the first answer. Uh, my least favorite place is this stretch right here. Uh, because it's a 50, 45 and 50 mile an hour. 
Yeah, 936. That's that's it. It's 40 to 50 miles an hour and they drive 25 to 35 all the time. It drives me crazy. So I fixed it. All right. I have a uh, a special little thing in here that is going to help us see. First, I'm going to get on a motorcycle. I like this one. Uh, this is just a debug thing I threw in there and it's going to show me what speed they're driving look how fast that guy's going 77 this guy's doing uh, pushing 50 and it will vary they're not all going to speed. Some of them will go faster than others. There he's speeding up. There's a 70 mile an hour one. So yeah, I, and it's just all over the map. They just drive faster now. Um, and this is part of the posted speed, which is uh, that speed sign down on the map. It tells you what the speed limit is all over the uh, Mine works differently than, I don't know if you've ever looked at it or not, but mine works differently than a lot of people's, well, just about everybody's, in that uh, it's based on the road node, so it, it knows what speed it is on whatever node you're at. It was painstaking and took forever, but uh, it matches the speed signs for the most part uh, all over the state now. And it'll also show you the ramps and the exits and things like that and what speeds those are. Um, but I included this traffic speed up in that posted speed update. So um, that should be out very soon. If it's, I don't think I've put it out yet, um, but it'll be out soon. And that solves a, the problem of this slow traffic on here. So there he's speeding up to up to 60. It's so much better. Uh, I, I, just this stretch alone. Does it affect the cyclist's AI? Oh, no. No, it's... Uh, it, uh, all it is, it's all new road nodes over the entire state. Um... And it just adjusts the the AI driving speed for the whole state. They 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 basically drive the same. They're freaking out when they see us. They're basically driving the same, uh, slightly more aggressive. I feel like because of the speed. I think, and sometimes they cut the corners really sharp, but uh, they're just driving faster. And they know the bikes ride the same speed <laughs> as they always did. Um, who's exotic players one? <laughs> yeah, the problem with QB and my scripts, my scripts are standalone, so they're not built to work with QB. We did build the HUD which is this stuff down below here and the directions and the street name and all that stuff. We built that to work with QB, but QB sucks. So uh, the data structure is terrible. Um, <laughs> that's what happens when I don't give them enough to do. Um, yeah, the QB data structure sucks. And so it was working with most people, and then I think something changed and it started breaking again. So uh, I swore I would never do anything QB again. Um, 
So Joseph's been looking at it and trying to figure out what to do to make it work. He has an idea, I think, and uh, I'm going to let him run with it because I don't want to mess with QB ever. So there you go. That's how I feel about it. Um, I was also going to talk about fireworks. Um, you know how whenever you set off fireworks, it uh, always lights a fire under it? Well, I changed that to where it doesn't always light the fire now. There's just a chance that there's a fire. Watch, it'll probably light a fire this time. But And if you haven't heard the new sounds... They sound fantastic. Yeah, Joseph, that's exactly right. We'll fix this HUD and then never touch QB again. I don't even ask. I'm not doing it. Oh, it lit a fire, of course. There's a 30% chance of a fire at the end. <laughs> Maybe I should make it less. Anyway, that's what I had on the docket to show. So if anybody has any questions or requests, let me know now. The Firework Script is available. BigDaddyScripts.com It's one of my favorites. I like that one a lot. And if you have not seen it... There's also the show mode. Which means I can set down fireworks and they don't light right away. And then I can go into the fireworks show menu and it just shows all the things that you just set down and you can light them all together or you can light them one at a time. There you go. And you can do that with all the fireworks. The new fireworks script? Uh, this is the new one. I mean, this is it's the same one it's always been. Are you talking about the update? Uh, yes, I did release the update. <laughs> they got traffic control working down there. Which you will see the cars drive around. Yep. Mundo, it is not a pain in the butt to add things to that menu. So if you have stuff you want added, just send it to me and I'm happy to add it. Uh, I add stuff all the time. I just added some stuff last week to it um, because we found uh, some things lacking. And I will continue to add to it. Uh, we're talking about the object spawner, by the way, folks, which is one of my favorites as well. Um, and I'm trying to make it better to where you can... Like, bring up the menu and type, and it'll filter it. Because it takes forever to scroll through that list right now. And I might have a new way to place the item where you're, like, dragging it around. It's just going to take me a little bit to get it formulated for this thing. Uh, it was used in something else, and I really liked it. So, Yeah, Object Spawner is a game changer for RP. Uh, it opens up so many doors.
Yeah, are the canopies in there, KV? Did I get them in? I mean, you could add whatever objects you want to it. There are so many out there. But we use it all the time. There's lights. Uh, there's some, uh, I don't know if you guys know who Mrs. Buzz is. Um, but she creates props and does a fantastic job of it. In fact, uh, like a third or if not more of the camping props are hers. Um, she's been very good to us and uh, we have a good working relationship. But she has all kinds of lights and things that uh, she's let me put in the object spawner. So, um, this is this is what I was talking about. You have to scroll forever. Yeah, there's the lamps, and then there's these lights. This is the object spawner at work. So yeah, there's all kinds of lights like this. And we use them for different stuff. Maybe I don't remember if I put them in there, honestly. Um, I've, been, I've put several things in, but I can't remember if the canopies are in. Uh, I know they're in camping, but they can be wonky to set. Because they, if you're on crooked ground, they don't like to set crooked. <laughs> Way to go is talking flashlights. This is my new flashlight, pointable with shadows. Doesn't get any better than that right there. Except, oh, I don't have any weapons. So now I got a pistol and when I aim it, And you can shoot. How cool is that? Uh, it's in the LEO menu, but right now I have it open for everybody, and I don't really think it needs to be locked down. I know some people are going to want to lock it down on some servers, but I think on OCRP it will not be locked down because it has things in here that you can do, like dropping your gun. Um, I can drop my weapon and it drops. It literally is on the ground behind me now. And I don't have it in my arsenal anymore. But I can also pick up the dropped weapon and he'll go over and pick that up. And now it's back in my arsenal and in my hand. Yeah, I think, I think this LEO script's going to be very cool. Um, I think it'll get rid of a lot of the other scripts that are spread out all over the place. <laughs> anyway. I think that's it, unless anybody has any questions. And every single testing session devolves into uh, no, into chaos every time. Fire looks really good. 
All right. I'm going to go from here and go get set up for OCRP tonight. I hope to see you guys over there. Um, I think Joseph and Zane are going to be doing uh, Chiliad County Sheriff stuff. And KV and I are going to go cause some trouble in the wilderness. I think that's the plan right now. <clears throat> so, uh, come see us there. I appreciate it. Hey, subscribe if you want to see more of these because we do this every week where we do the question and answer if you have any questions. Or I'll show what, uh, what we've been working on. Um, and then we do the RP stream after it where we have some fun into the wee hours of the morning so come check it out come see us i appreciate you folks and i will see you later <laughs>